Hello! See, I have a face again. I'm on camera. How are all of you? D&D. &D. The new OGL rules are a joke. And that's being completely honest about this. So, where do we start with this? On the most basic level, D&D &D want to make money. And they want to get the fans and content creators and people that make money. These new rules alone are going to destroy the cottage industry that has built up around D&D when 95% of its good content is user-generated. Now, basically, you have to sign an agreement to make D&D content, and they can claim ownership and withdraw that contract at any point. Which, so for your original characters and original staff, they own. <sighs> I mean, there is a whole rant on copyright law with, with this stuff. And copyright law is fundamentally broken and people really don't understand it. I'm also seeing people on Twitter bring up a lot of antitrust stuff. Again, I don't think they truly understand it. And it kind of shows in some of those posts because some of them are very reactionary. But it's interesting seeing this happen. Now, I drifted away from the D&D hobby a few years ago, really. Um, just because it kind of died in my area and I don't like playing online. I know that sounds weird, but I really don't. I don't enjoy playing online. I never have done. And ultimately, I think this is one of the many coffin nails that have been happening to D&D over the years as well. I mean, there's 50 years worth of content here. It's it's big, basically. And one of the big coffin nails I've picked up on in the last years is sort of tourists in this hobby that all got into it during a certain 2020 and all the stuff that I can't mention because Google gods. The They came into it and they purely, there is a whole subset of people that are looking for things that they find offensive. And it's funny as hell because everything is offensive. How dare they use the word race? There's another guy that a mutual follows who talks about, oh, they're raiding tombs of ancient civilizations and destroying artifacts, and that's problematic. Oh, please grow a pair. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's fantasy, and it can be whatever you want. But what I've found in recent years, especially now, is that I think Wizards, Hasbro, whatever, want to capitalise on this. And their main thing is making money. And no, it's nothing to do with capitalism. I, I Again, Twitter, think before you tweet. This has been on and off for years. And I think a lot of stuff that's been happening with the game and how people are playing it... The company is out of touch with its fan base and it's out of touch with its players because, again, 95% of good D&D &D content is user-generated. People make up their own characters, their own worlds, their own rules and create these beautiful, big, epic things. The problem is Hasbro don't really want that. They want you to buy a product. And same with Wizards. They want you to buy a product. They want you to buy a book. They want you to buy everything. And there was this other guy, I talked about it in another video. This guy uh, was talking about how using D um, dice and things is gatekeeping because stupid, re insert stupid reason here, when actually you can play D&D &D for free. A, a PDF and an app. Literally. A PDF and an app. You, you can roll dice on an app. You don't even need a smartphone, you just need an old computer. And you can literally do it in Google. I don't use Google as a search engine. But you can literally do it in Google. So, ultimately, the, the community has been very split. And it's very much the new school players and these sort of tourists that are pushing out the old school players. Because, you know, they're problematic. And I really hate that word. It's a, we it's a weasel word. But just seeing how out of touch... All of these companies are with the actual user base of anything. It's hilarious. There are plenty of alternatives. One that I like is Basic Fantasy RPG. Now, the SJWs started ranting that strip, um, 
Clown Show TV gave him, Clownfish TV, sorry, gave him a shout out and were talking about it and then he kind of got a bit uppity and then he did a non-apology. The guy seems a little bit of an idiot in that sense. You know, free promotion on a big YouTube channel is a good thing. Just saying, whether you agree or not with them, it, it's a good thing and people getting all offended by it are just ridiculous. And there are other games that are tabletop that are different genres. Cyberpunk is really good. Um, that's really good. There's lots of science fiction ones. There's horror ones. There's old school Vampire the Masquerade, although that seems to be a very difficult one to play because it doesn't seem to exist in any store anymore, which is a real shame. I think with this, I, I, regardless of political side, regardless of anything else, it's the first time I've actually seen the community online go, we don't like this kind of universally. There's a handful of defenders and a few mainstream articles. But mostly people are saying, well, I'm not going to play the game anymore. Because this, the, these rules are not only complete BS, but they're going to destroy people's livelihoods. They're going to destroy channels that get like 50 views on a video that just play D&D because they love it and just like to record it. It's going to destroy the whole cottage industry that has built up around D&D over time. And that's ultimately a problem because it's just, what now? And, you know, it's a big game with lots going on and lots of people and lots of content and lots of stuff. And it's just going to obliterate most of it. The idea of... Like, the copyright with D&D was always a little bit interesting. No one owns a game mechanic. That is a thing. No one actually owns a game mechanic in that sense, which is why there are so many D&D clones in terms of gameplay. But just... I think this decision is completely... pants. Try not to swear in my videos, because I get in trouble for that, and people tell me off in my comments. I think this is completely pants, and I think this is going to do a lot more damage to an already split community. And I, I think this is just going to be a disaster. Like, I'm watching it play out in real time, and it's not good. I don't, I don't think any of this is good. And ultimately, what do you do? I think a lot of people are going to be moving to new games. Um, there's loads of great tabletops. And there's a lot of other stuff too. And I wish I knew more people that played them. I do. I wish there was local events and things, because my nearest game store is a 30-minute train ride from another 30-minute bus ride. So it's a bit of a trek and then getting back, because rural living and buses are a horrible mix when you live in Suffolk in England. I think what's going to happen here is the pushback's going to be big, and I hope they're not stupid, because I, I see this ending badly for Hasbro and Wizards more than anything. And I think they're trying to kind of take something and profit off your original work is extremely slimy. And it it's just bad business practice at the end of the day. Ultimately, and I know I say that word a lot and I apologise because I know it annoys people. And sometimes I do it on purpose just to annoy you. You can't take people's original work and characters and profit off of it. There are already people I know that are we're talking in chats and messages and things and they're like... What the hell do I do now? I, I make content based on this. Do I have to have a license to do this or do that? Or do this stuff? Like, there is a problem here. And it's it's just ridiculous. And I think this whole idea that you have to apply for this. And they can take it away. And they can monetize your content. Is just... It's, it's a disaster. And I think, again, an already broken and quite fragile community are stuck and it, it, <laughs> there's a lot of groups that already don't like each other. You've got older players and you've got this sort of tourists in the hobby that are gatekeeping the older players out. And I think this is just going to cause more ructions. But actually seeing at the moment people saying, well, on all sides, I don't want to deal with this. I'm not happy about this. I'm done with D&D &D, is quite eye opening and kind of sad. And I do wonder what's next, because, you know, I, th I think this is going to hurt the game, an already fragile community, and it's just going to rip it apart. And ultimately, 
it does bring up some other stuff and other things that have happened just because, you know, where do you go? What what do you do? Oh, I've I've been playing this game for five years. We've we've had all these epic adventures. We stream it for our friends. Oh, we we don't make anything from it, but now we have to have a license. And there's a whole other list of things that can happen. This is how you kill a game. This is how you take a game and destroy it. And over the last few years, Wizards, Hasbro, whoever, have slowly ripped apart this game, stripping apart the more problematic elements of this law, because, you know, people are offended. People are morons. And there is a whole subset of people that just want to be offended, and it's kind of a shame. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you going to carry on? What's going on? All of my links and info are there. And I also offer memberships on this channel. So I will talk to you guys a bit later.